However, a high wind warning is still in effect for the summits of Maui and the Big Island. It's 16 degrees on Mauna Kea tonight. Our Bangateras talk to observatory staffers who can't get to work. The snow and ice combined with the strong hurricane force winds has meant no one can get to the summit of Mauna Kea. And that includes the scientists and astronomers. A blanket of white has covered the summit of Mauna Kea for several weeks as storm systems have blown in several bouts of snow. With this latest cold front, temperatures have dropped into the 20s and winds have topped 100 miles an hour. That's forced astronomers to leave the summit. We evacuate the summit at 65 miles an hour, so we're not just a little bit over our wind limits. We are substantially over our wind limits. The weather has also meant a loss of time that would be spent scanning the heavens to discover new galaxies, stars, planets, and asteroids. In fact, I did some research in our, our previous longest stretch was in 2015 we had 15 nights shut down and this one is now 21 nights in a row and it's not just time lost but also valuable opportunities to collect data astronomers can't get back because of the way we operate at keck where people are scheduled six months ahead of time if you lose to weather you're you just have to wait till next year it's not just the wind that's a factor it may look like nice fluffy snow up there, but that's not the case. Unfortunately on Mauna Kea, because of the wind and then the sun, um, the snow melts and then it gets cold again. And so everything turns to this really hard block of ice. That combination has also created this weird phenomenon outside the Canada France of a telescope, a carpet of icicles that point upward. Now with the combination of high winds, very low temperature and high humidity, we're actually having ice that's forming up from the ground. Since snow plows can't cut their way through the ice, there's no timeline on when the road to the summit will reopen. It'll take a little while, but we're hoping to get the road open so everybody can get up there and enjoy the snow because it is absolutely beautiful. As for the telescopes themselves, they've been built to handle the strong winds and the cold temperatures, and there have been no reports of damage. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.